Hey YouTube, just wanted to do a real quick video update on the uh, TF2 Marlin Crawler 4Runner. I got the engine in it. The uh, Knight Customs Shapeways 3D printed actually for the uh, Proline Toyota SR5 Lexan body because I needed something because I have the single speed transmission in it and the motor's offset a 3D motor wasn't going to work so I showed a video the other day you see I had to cut the magnet Oops, I'm holding the camera by hand so I'm having a little difficulty here but I got it <clears throat> and I wanted to keep with the theme of the truck like not really a show truck but you know a restoration maybe 10-15 years ago so I wanted to keep the inside the hood looking the same. I need to take the body off and put the hood catches back on. But for now, yeah, that's what it looks like. You see, you know, that was all one piece. So the radiator shroud went in. I put one single 3 millimeter screw in it to hold that in and bolt it in place. And I tried making that look like the windshield washer fluid, Optima red top can't see it but I did get a little bit of a yellowish greenish tint to the overflow tank wiper motor vacuum canister fuse box brake booster I did kind of get that a little bit of a yellowish tint to kind of look like some fluid now I know I've already heard a people a couple tell me yeah I don't know what the hell I just said right there but you know, bend some wire, make it look like it has some brake lines, which I might do. But the problem with that is, you know, to do battery changes or anything else, this body has to come back off. So this lifts off and the inner fenders stay. So I have to watch what I do, you know, something to, that will get in the way that's not going to let it do that. So you can see the exhaust, you know, because this was like, uh, I guess you want to say a 2D try to get the focus a little better so I kind of weathered them a little bit I was going to put a black cover or something over the motor and wires under there but I figured the hood actually doesn't open very far and my only goal was just to get an engine compartment in there since the hood does open and I'm going to do a couple more little details maybe put some wires around these to make them look like hose clamps you can see because it was 2d this is where everything stopped so I added some pipes just plastic uh, off of a parts tree i melded them and bent them and so at least it looks like well okay the the intake is connected i weathered it a little bit i put a little bit of oil mark on there i mean i didn't want to make it look too bad so what i did this originally should have all been glued together so what i did was you can see on here I'll try to do this i glued a little metal peg and I drilled a hole in the radiator, and you can see I put these two magnets on here. And I did a lot of, I guess I should go back, I did a lot of trimming. The engine was flat all the way across like that, so you can see where I did a lot of trimming back through here because of the motor and the motor mount on this side to get it to sit how I did. So it just snaps in, if I can do this on camera. I put it in that little hole, kind of try to get it straight, you know, and like I said, when the hood is in its brackets, it only opens about, yeah, about that far. So it's going to, you know, it, it's, it's the part that's pretty cool for no more time what I have in it. And the hood does close all the way like it should. So there's the truck. You know, the door's open. I didn't really super detail the interior. Just kind of, you know, I might dirty it up a little bit. I'm definitely going to put some scale accessories in. The tailgate opens. So I'll put some accessories back there. I opted not to put the window in the back. You know, these are magnet. Uh, inner fenders. You know, I have, I bought the RC four-wheel drives inner fenders. If I can get the truck stood up here. So I got the RC four-wheel drive inner fenders in the front. I spray them with bed liner. 
And then I was, I, it was pointed out to me that, well, you know, the back, the real Forerunners actually had like a rubber, and the, uh, they did come with these. Uh, I'll get these right. I think it's this side, but they did come with ones that go up in there. So I, I painted them with, you know, the black bed liner also. So the next time I take the body off, when I put the hood latches back on, I'll bolt these in and that'll create the look there. So that's it. Quick little update with the exception of uh, a driver and a few scale accessories just to make it look used. Toyota 4Runner Marlin Crawler is done for Class Zero. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys later.